It is true that there are 85 times more male serial killers than female killers, a huge difference. However, because of societal expectations of how women should act, the shock and horror that female serial killers frequently arouse are frequently much greater. The 10 women on this list are anomalous not just in terms of gender, but also in terms of the horrific atrocities they committed. These murderers were motivated by their own dark desires, which ranged from abuse and greed to retaliation and a thirst for power. In their acts of torture and murder, they showed no mercy, some even used techniques like poisoning and bloodbaths. 10. Dagmar Overby, the Angel Maker, Nurebro, Denmark. Dagmar Overby, also known as the Angel Maker, was a Danish serial killer who murdered multiple infants and young children in the early 1900s. Overby worked as a professional child caretaker and used this position to gain access to children. She would then murder them by strangling or drowning them, before disposing of their bodies in various locations. Overby was eventually caught in 1920 after the discovery of the remains of several children. She was found guilty of the murders of nine children, although she was suspected of killing many more. During her trial, she showed no remorse for her actions, claiming that she killed the children to avoid the shame that would come from their illegitimate births. Overby was sentenced to death and executed by beheading in 1921. Her case is considered one of the most notorious and shocking in Danish criminal history. 9. Dorothea Puente, Death House Landlady, Sacramento, California. Dorothea Puente, aka the Death House Landlady, was a Sacramento serial killer who targeted elderly and disabled individuals for their social security and disability checks. Over the span of six years, she killed at least nine people by either overdosing them with prescription drugs or burying them in her yard. Puente was caught in 1988, convicted of three murders, and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Her story highlights the vulnerability of elderly and disabled individuals in the care of others and has been the subject of numerous books, documentaries, and a made-for-TV movie. 8. Vicki Don Jackson, Angel of Death, Nakona, Texas Vicki Don Jackson, the Angel of Death, was a nurse from Nakona, Texas who killed several patients under her care by injecting them with lethal doses of drugs such as potassium chloride. Her victims were mostly elderly patients who were critically ill and unlikely to recover. Jackson was arrested in 1996, convicted of five murders, and sentenced to life in prison without parole. She may have been responsible for the deaths of up to 50 patients. Her actions have raised concerns about healthcare professionals and their practices. 7. Rosemary West, House of Horrors Killer, Gloucester, England Rosemary West, a notorious serial killer from Gloucester, England. Together with her husband Fred West, murdered at least 10 young women, including two of their daughters. The murders took place between 1973 and 1987, and most victims were buried in the couple's garden. Rosemary had a troubled childhood with sexual abuse from her father, and later met Fred while working as a prostitute. The couple committed gruesome murders, sexually abusing and torturing their victims before killing them, and storing their remains in their home. Rosemary West was found guilty of 10 counts of murder in 1994 and received a life sentence. Fred West committed suicide while awaiting trial. The House of Horrors case shocked the nation and remains one of the most infamous in British crime history. 6. Delfina and Maria de Jesus Gonzalez, Los Poquianquis, Guanajuato, Mexico. Los Poquianquis were two sisters who ran a sex trafficking and prostitution ring in Guanajuato. Mexico during the 60s and 70s, and were responsible for the deaths of up to 91 girls and women. They were caught in 1964 and found to have a network of accomplices, including police officers and government officials. Delfina and Maria were both sentenced to prison, with Delfina dying in 2018 and Maria in 1984. The case exposed widespread corruption and complicity and led to the creation of new laws to protect victims of human trafficking in Mexico. Hey friend, like this video and subscribe to the channel, push the bell button to get notified for more interesting videos like this. 5. Irina Gay Damashuk, Satan in a Skirt, Sverdlovsk Oblast, Russia 
Irina Gay Damashuk, also known as Satan in a Skirt, was a Russian serial killer who targeted and killed at least 17 elderly women in the Sverdlovsk Oblast region between 2002 and 2010. She gained the trust of her victims, who lived alone, robbed them, and then strangled or suffocated them. In 2011, Gay Damashuk was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Her motive for the killings remains unknown. Gay Damashuk's case was widely covered by the media, and she is considered one of Russia's most infamous female killers. 4. Aileen Warnos, Monster, Daytona Beach, Florida Aileen Warnos, also known as Monster, was an American serial killer who operated in Daytona Beach, Florida during the late 1980s and early 1990s. She shot and killed seven men, claiming they had raped or attempted to rape her while she worked as a sex worker. Warnos was arrested in 1991 and sentenced to death, and she was executed by lethal injection in 2002. Despite her claims of self-defense, Warnos' case remains one of the most notorious in American true crime history. 3. Nanny Doss, The Giggling Nanny, Various States in the U.S. Nanny Doss, also known as The Giggling Nanny, was an American serial killer who operated in various states in the U.S. during the 1920s to the 1950s. Born in 1905, Doss had a troubled upbringing and was married multiple times. Between 1920 and 1954, Doss murdered at least four of her husbands, two of her children, her two sisters, her mother, and her mother-in-law. She poisoned them with arsenic, which she obtained by purchasing rat poison. Doss was motivated by a desire for attention and a need to be in control. Doss's crimes went undetected for many years, but she eventually confessed to the murders in 1954. She was sentenced to life in prison and died in 1965. Her case attracted national attention, and she was dubbed the giggling nanny because of her tendency to laugh during her trial. 2. Juana Barraza, the old lady killer, Mexico City, Mexico. Juana Barraza, also known as the old lady killer, was a Mexican professional wrestler who was sentenced to 759 years in prison for the murder of at least 42 elderly women from the late 1990s to 2003s. Barraza had a difficult upbringing, she was sold for three beers as a child by her alcoholic mother to a man who repeatedly raped her. She eventually became pregnant and had four children. Barraza's Lucha Libre wrestling name was the Silent Lady, which became an alter ego. In real life, she targeted women over 60 years of age who lived alone, and strangled or bludgeoned them to death before robbing them. She was charged in 2008 after police initially thought that two people were involved. Barraza's case drew international attention and sparked a debate in Mexico about violence against women and the elderly. Despite the horrific nature of her crimes, her story continues to fascinate and horrify people around the world. It has been the subject of books, documentaries, and even a stage play. 1. Elizabeth Bottery, The Blood Countess, Hungary Elizabeth Bottery, also known as the Blood Countess and the Female Dracula, was a Hungarian noblewoman born in 1560. She is widely regarded as one of history's most notorious serial killers and is considered the most prolific female murderer by the Guinness World of Records, though the exact number of her victims is still debated. Between 1585 and 1609, Bottery and her assistants tortured and killed hundreds of young girls and women, many of whom were peasant girls. During her trial, it was revealed that the number of victims was upwards of 650, making her one of the most prolific serial killers in history. There are many stories about Bathory's bloodthirsty nature and her belief that drinking and bathing in the blood of young girls would help her retain her youth and beauty. She was eventually arrested and put on trial in 1610, where she was found guilty of her crimes and sentenced to life imprisonment. She was imprisoned in a tower with walled windows, where she was said to have died five years later, after going insane. Despite the centuries that have passed since Bathory's crimes, her story continues to fascinate and horrify people around the world.
It has inspired numerous works of fiction and has been the subject of countless articles, books, and documentaries.